Do you have a problem with Pierce saying this? Yes, I got a problem. Didn't Draymond tell you last year, they don't love you like they love Kobe. <laughs> he even tried to tell you that. He did during the game. He's absolutely, Paul Pierce is absolutely correct, Skip. He should not have to enjoy, have to enjoy this moment. His proud, one of his proudest moments with someone else getting a video tribute. He shouldn't, but he can't say that. We can say that. Maybe some of the Celtics' former play teammates can say that. Skip, he can't say that. He can't. And he's absolutely right. Paul Pierce is one of the top Celtics of all time. Now, if you, he's number two on the scoring list between, behind John Hevlicek. Yeah. But if you look at the top ten and you look at those names that's up there, every last one of them's in the Hall of Fame. Yep. So you go from JoJo White to Cowens to uh, Russell mm -hmm. to Cousy to Larry Bird mm -hmm. to Robert Parrish to Kevin McHale. Yep. And his number is going up in the rafters. It is. But before it goes up in the rafters, we got to see a montage. Now, Isaiah Thomas, he did leave an impression. He had the second highest scoring average ever for a season with 29 points. Larry Bird averaged 30 in 87 88 mm -hmm. season. Yep. He, played, hey, he left his mark. But, Skip, that, you should have went ahead and got this out the way. Because, Skip, is that going to inspire you more? You want the You could have had the family come. This is Paul Pierce's night. Yep. This is Paul's night. If they retire my, if they retire my jersey, they got the Hall of Fame. That you know, when, look here, I ain't trying to share that moment with nobody. So don't be telling me you're gonna have a video tribute to TD or Ed or Rod or anybody else. It's not gonna happen. Mm -mm. Now one of us, hey, have his on a Monday. But don't share this moment. But Paul can't say that, Skip. Mm. He can't. I know he said it in a joking manner, but he's serious, Skip. He was dead. He was dead behind serious. He can't say it. And Isaiah shouldn't want it. Your, your moment's going to be dwarfed. Mm -hmm. Your family's coming, but that moment is about Paul Pierce. I promise you, someone's jersey number going to the Raptors is more important than a two-minute or five-minute video clip of your time in Boston. Mm. Let Paul Pierce ha have his moment. Mm. You could have had your moment the other night. You could have had your family come in. I don't get where I want to be playing. What difference does it make? Mm. Isaiah Thomas played all of two seasons in Boston two. plus 21 other games. And in this case, I would usually be with you, but I am okay with Paul Pierce at least jokingly saying, I don't want to share the stage with him because he, that's what he's saying. With him? He's joking, really? but he's serious. He's serious. <laughs> And I, I did not love him invoking the name of Kobe Bryant, but he did at least beat Kobe head-to-head -head in one yeah. final. So he, he did that. And Kobe got him back, though. He got him back good. <laughs> no, he did. No, I, I'm with you. But the mere thought of this to me, and I'm sure to Paul especially, is so wrong and so offensive yes. that he just couldn't help himself. And furthermore... Isaiah engineered, excuse me, engineered his own night the other night, as we talked about yes. on Wednesday night. He knew exactly what he was doing. He waited in the locker room to make his grand entrance late in the first quarter so that he could bask in a standing ovation. So <laughs> he, he got his tribute. That's better than a I, video I, tribute. I don't, I don't, huh? Don't, do, oh, don't, don't, honor, do don't honor don't, me. Don't, don't do that. I'm going to honor me by coming out. Yeah, he, he honored himself. <laughs> and it was a great night. And you pointed out he hugged everybody in the building yeah! before it was over. And after the game, he hugged every Celtic and every Celtic coach and every personnel person. Hell, I thought he was a politician. He, he Is even, he running for office? He even <laughs> made up with Danny A. Yes. They they kissed and made up. You know, it was just like, oh, it's all forgiven and forgotten. People passing okay. their baby down. He okay. kissing okay. babies and everything. Babies. Yep. So let it go and let it be over. Yes. It, it happened. You got you to gotta go on because Paul Pierce deserves to have a night because I got to tell you, his nickname was The Truth yeah. because he was The yeah. Truth. Yes, And th there's never been anybody much more clutch than this guy. Yeah. He was a big shot taker and maker. And he was a 10-time All-Star. That's hard to do, 10, ten. times. And four times All-NBA, first team, top five. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's pretty great. So give him the stage. Why would you even, Skip, why would you even want to try to up, to want anything to do with that night? That's his night. Mm. Oh, Oh, we got a uh, we got a, a special celebration for Paul Pierce. Oh, and a video tribute to Isaiah Thomas. It doesn't work. No. And the Celtics have to know it doesn't work. Oh. No. So you you don't the Celtics don't want to look bad. It could be a PR nightmare. But just they need to just both of them move on. 
You need to be the Celtics, and you need Isaiah to become be a Cleveland Cav Cavalier. Yes. Right? You, Skip, he, he should call Danny and say, Danny, I appreciate it. But uh, this is Paul's night. I want Paul to have this night to himself. That, that would him be big of that little man to do. Him and his family yeah. should, should enjoy this mm -hmm. moment. Yeah. No, don't do that. I mean, Isaiah, don't put don't put Danny in because Danny Danny's gonna do right. Danny's gonna gonna probably let this thing go. But he should have like okay, especially and then you know he knew what February 11th was. You're not Paul Pierce's equal. Mm -mm. Not for Although that. He, he might think he is. Uh, he might. Yeah, yeah. I, I got to tell you, which raises the point. I'm gonna say it one more time. LeBron is the greatest chef ever. He can blend all kinds of very disparate ingredients, yeah. very different pieces. Things that don't belong yeah. together, yeah. he'll, he'll make, make it work. Yes. But this little man has a huge ego that got stoked and fed in Boston. Correct. Which is a great basketball town, but he was it. He was the show. Yes. And he's used to being the show, and now he was the show in Boston, and he also was in Cleveland in his first night because he was really good. Yes. Okay, so now it's set up for him to come back and quote unquote save the day for the reeling Cavaliers. Right. Yeah. Well, LeBron better be careful because I think the stage is set for him to, to start shooting it like mad and saying, I'm the reason that we have gotten back on track. I, I, I would not want to do that. If they had something special for Paul Pierce, let's just say, I mean, with TD. TD went into the uh, uh, the Hall of Fame, so you know obviously they have the ceremony. Terrell you, Davis, Terrell you're, Davis, you're running back, yep. and they get his ring. You know, uh, uh, Dave Baker, who's the president of the, uh, the head of the Hall of Fame, they bring the ring out and get it on. Skip, do you actually think I would want them to retire my '84 doing TD's Hall of Fame celebration? That would make no sense. That's TD deserves the night to himself. Mm. Paul Pierce deserves this night in its entirety to be all about Paul Pierce. Mm. Nothing else. The game and Paul. Everybody's coming to see Paul Pierce's numbers go up there amongst the great of other Celtics. Not to look up there and all of a sudden we say, okay, we got two minutes. We got to, you know, show this, what Isaiah did when he was in Boston. Mm. That's, no, do the right, Isaiah, if it was me, I, honestly, for me, I would do the right thing. I would say, Danny, I really appreciate it, but this is Paul's night. Mm. I don't want to be in any way. All I want to do is go play, be on the court. But don't show a video montage of me in one of my time there because this should be about Paul okay. in his time as a Celtic. Agreed. Final question. Are you concerned that Isaiah Thomas might wreck LeBron's MVP chances from no, this point No, I'm on? not worried about that. Bron going to handle this. Bron, Bron going to pull him to the side mm. and talk to him. Okay, but what if Isaiah becomes the reason that the Cavaliers take off? I don't got no problem with that. He could. I want okay, him to well, take Well, that's off. not going to help LeBron's MVP case. It's not. It's not. It's, I mean, Steph Curry coming back doesn't hurt Le, uh, 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 KD's MVP. Chris Paul playing well we, wins is what's going to help LeBron's MVP case. He's going to have the numbers. He's going to be somewhere between 26 and 28 points a night. He's going to be somewhere between seven and nine assists, seven and nine rebounds. So he will have the numbers. Okay, but they're going to have to drop some just the way Russell Westbrook's numbers have had to drop some. Not that he hasn't started taking more did charge. You, did you see they going know, back up. But did you see the numbers the other two put up last night? Because yeah. they got theirs too. Yeah, but he got that 29, 11, I and 14 know, okay. triple dub. So okay. now. All right, but I'm just saying his numbers are down a little bit in every category. Down a little bit. Just. And, and LeBron's going to have to sacrifice some of his numbers, especially if Isaiah's going to average 30 a game. Skip, right? stop saying that. Well, I know what, what you're said. trying to do. I, I know what you're trying it. to do. He said it. No, but you keep bringing it up. Just because he said it doesn't make it true. Mm. He says he's six foot tall. Yeah. He, is he six foot tall? Mm. No. no. Okay. He's not averaging 30. And I want you to stop trying to plant that seed in his head mm. because he listens like, yeah, Skip said I could average 30. Mm. I know what you're trying to do, Skip Bayless, mm. but it's not going to work with mm. us in Cleveland. I'm trying to drive a wedge of lettuce into LeBron's salad that he's making I, over there. That's all right. Chef, right. We use kale. We don't mm. use lettuce. Oh. Iceberg okay. gives you no nutritional value. Yeah. We do arugula and we do kale over here. Kale. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this one's not going to taste very good. Kale salad with a few raisins on top of it. Yep. That's how we do. Mm. Well, this is going to be a bitter pill for LeBron no, to swallow. No, yep. no, mm. no. I know what you try to do, Skip, I, baby. Well, I could just tell you it's coming. It's well, coming. you go ahead and keep that beet salad up in, in, uh, in San Antonio because that's what you got, a beet broccoli, salad. Broccoli salad. Yeah, right? terrible. Mm. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.